starting any exercise program, always get cleared by primary care doctor. Hey there, Jed Corbin is here with The Exercise Physiology Show, where I talk about the physiology of the mind, the physiology of the body, and the physiology of the spirit. It's all brought to you by YGT Fitness, and that is at jedcobras.com, where I can save you what most of us need more of, or all of us probably want more of, is time for your health and wellness. Cool? All right, this is episode number 69. Holy moly, right? We got an awesome question from Net Little John. Love her to death. She's awesome. She's doing great. Um, I think she was a little frustrated when she asked me this question, which um, I would say most people might be. But um, it is her question is <clears throat> Does men lose fat or weight faster than women and how come or, or why right um, the short answer is yes um, men do unfortunately you know it, it is but it doesn't mean that that you're at a huge disadvantage it doesn't mean women are at a huge disadvantage what that means is Men have a, a, key, a key component, probably two, two key components that, that women um, don't have. Women do have muscle, that's one of them, but not generally as much uh, because of the second component I'm saying is testosterone. Say, so testosterone, males have an abundance of way more compared to women, obviously, but that helps aid the uh, muscle building process, right? Um, it's just the hormone that men have, and women have low, 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 low testosterone. And this is how it works. You know, and all all we got to do as males uh, is just really pay attention to um, what we're eating for a few days, and it comes off pretty quick. But it also comes down to what we're drawn to. Uh, males are generally drawn to you know, meat sources or protein sources, and females are more drawn to carbohydrate sources, right? Um, so that is also, you know, another thing to be mindful of and how we're kind of built, right? Um, but it doesn't, like I said, I mean, it doesn't mean it's a huge, big uh, dis disadvantage. It just means that it takes just a little bit more, a little bit more work but it doesn't have to. <clears throat> if you follow, if you follow the same regimen, and I think what happens is women think that you know you 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 bulk up if you do strength training. I don't want to bulk up. Well, you're missing that key component, right? To bulk up, to actually bulk up. <clears throat> Big boned is impossible. Big boned, actually, which is really funny because people will say, <clears throat> "Oh, I'm big boned," so that what you know, that's why I'm. That's why I'm bigger in these parts of my body. No, no you're not. Sorry to say it, you can hate me all you want, but no, you're not. Um, it comes down to women are actually, they have less bone density and you're more prone to osteoporosis, which is brittle, you know, a brittle bone um, because, right, because of strength training or lack of strength training. Resistance training, the I don't want to bulk up and that's why I don't work, you know, that's why I don't lift weights or I don't do body weight exercises. Well, that's crap. Throw that mentality out. Women need strength training. Actually, <clears throat> I'd venture out to say more than men because men, you can build, you know, we can build really fast and lose weight faster than women. And I think that's a disadvantage, sure, a little bit, but I think women get a bad stigma in their own mind saying, well, I don't want to bulk up. No, you need strength training at least twice a week. I mean, that's bare minimum is twice a week, if not five times a week. That's what I would recommend. Um, so eat more protein for a woman. 
and really when it comes down to it for a man we just don't think about we just don't think about what we eat we just kind of eat we know we need to we know we have to uh, but we don't think about it and what's really funny is if you notice a person um, a male in particularly if a male starts to kind of think about what he's eating you're gonna notice the weight drop pretty quick because once you start realizing what what goes in your body and what calorie counts and actually I just count macros your macronutrients <clears throat> uh, then you know then you can kind of tell then you see that their weight coming off probably pretty fast and then women you know we women generally and I don't you know I'm not saying this is how it works in every every household but women generally prepare the meal and what that means then is you take in extra calories tasting there's more temptation because you're in the kitchen um, you know I mean the, the biggest thing I would say is have if you have children you know if your husband or partner get your partner in there to help then it's less tempting it's probably going to be better for the family you can actually have that um, family time that you're looking for that you need that you want um, but that would solve some of those you know extra calorie issues and yeah just being aware of what kind of eating you're doing are you eating more protein or are you eating more carbs so hopefully I didn't make too many people mad you know too many women out there mad by you know being a man for first you know first of all because some women they you know they can think that and I apologize it's just how the bodies are built right um, but at the end of the day don't skip your strength training don't skip your strength training you're not gonna bulk up if you're a woman you're not gonna bulk up um, and, and eat more protein those things in the short answer will or the short run will help you establish a lot of confidence in yourself to make some bigger changes later so there it is Episode, episode number 69 net I hope that helps um, if anybody has any questions you can always ask me um, email me you can do um, ygt at jedcoberness.com that is my email ygt at jedcoberness.com email me with any questions you have and you know don't be don't forget to be using your automatic body app and program do not they actually just did an awesome update um, where week one is hydration now. Completely makes sense. I like it a lot better. Um, I'm going to start promoting that a little bit more because it's all free. It's a free program. Why not? It only makes sense to make one small change per week instead of just a giant, you know, 21 or 25 day whatever. <clears throat> this how many changes I'm making in 25 days. It's just too much change. It's not a sustainable amount of change. So why not change in six months instead of changing in 30 days? Because that has more of a stick to it. It'll stick to your life a lot better than than just something like a flash in the pan situation or change. So there it is. If you're willing to change from the neck up. You will change from the neck down. You gotta know by now I believe in you. Now it's your turn. Like, comment, and share. Because that is, that is the oxygen that is keeping any of this going. Have a great day. Bye.